Uh, welcome back to Colts Kids Road. So, something a little bit different today. This is the Eosheen Tyro 99. You've probably seen this knocking around. So it's a, it's a full quad in a box. You have to make it yourself, but everything's in there by a receiver. And a battery, obviously. So it makes a plug and fly. Uh, it costs around £73, £74. I've had this for a long time. I've had it probably two months, but not done anything with it. So what my intention is, I'm going to show you what's in the kit. I'm then going to go away and build it and at certain stages I'm going to come back and video like 30 second segments of when I've put the motors in for instance and when I've done the wiring and when I've connected various things up to show you what to do but I'm not going to make a full build video because that last phrase will be boring and then when that's done I'll make a separate video of me setting it up on beta flight and also flying it. So let's have a look what you get in the box. So you get some machine stickers, you get a quick start guide. This does not tell you how to build it, obviously. It's a very quick start guide. So, if we get in the box, you get some props, and I think you get ten of each, right and left. And you can see the two blades. You get four motors. So these are the motors you get with it, and they are... Can you see that on there? There you go, 2205 2150KV motors. You get four of them in the box. I'm not going to take all the motors out and show you. You get a Pagoda antenna. So here's some of the frames, all the frame arms, etc. That most of the frames in there. Top plate. Some double sided mounts. Some cable ties. You really do get everything in here. Some spanners. To fit in the props etc so this is the extension to come from the VDX, VTX to the back of the quad so the Pagoda comes out of the back and it is a solid mount so you'll see that when it's built I have no idea what that is it's a little carbon fibre gun you get this is the wiring for various things the camera etc and also this is the cable with the XT60 on the end Battery strap, front mounts for where the camera goes, some heat shrink to go on the arms so you can heat shrink the wires in, bag of screws, the camera which we'll talk about in a minute. So this is your stack. So the only soldering you have to do to this is these six wires here. Six on each side, sorry. There's three for each motor. So there are your wires for your motor. And that's the only soldering you've got to do. So you've got to tin and solder to them and the rest of it is plug and play. It's all wires, as you can see. That's on there to stop noise. Now, I do know Oh, the last thing in the box is this, so this is your 40 channel VTX. So what I do, I already know is that the camera isn't very good. And I know that from watching videos and I've, I know people that have built this. But I'm going to build it stock and I'm going to fly it stock so you can see it stock. I'm actually going to check this out when I've built it and I've showed it here. And I'm going to put in a mini split. But for now, we'll we'll do it with this in. So that's what you get in your box. And there's your four motors. As you can see, I didn't show you more about. Get a hell of a lot of stuff for your money. Really do. So for 79 quid, or sorry, 73 quid, you get all this stuff. So, is this a perfect... From, from what I've seen videos on this, and yet flies decent. The camera's the issue, so I will swap the camera out, but on the build, I'm going to build it with that camera. So what I'm going to do now is go build the frame, fit the motors on, I'll probably bolt the stack in and I'll solder this in. I'll show it you then when I put the wires in for the motors. I'll tell you now that it doesn't matter which, which order you put your wires in, as long as you've got three, three, three and three. If you've got them reversed, it doesn't matter any motor the reverse because you can do it with BL Heli and adjust them. Now the only thing with the motors are... The motors are handed. 
For as you can see, the handed motors. Yeah, so because the motors are handed, the only thing you need to do is make sure you get the mo these on the right corners. But as for the way they re for reversing them, it doesn't really matter because of the fact we can reverse them on BL Heli. So, let me go away and do that. I shall be back with you shortly. Okay, so we've built some of the frame. Well, we've actually built the frame. So, the only thing you need to be careful of building the frame is make sure you use the right size screws. There's four different, five different screws in the pack. Separate all your screws first and then build the frame up. There's plenty of videos that show you how to build the frame up. But basically, make sure you put your screws in onto your frame and make sure you don't get too long ones so you don't if you put ones that are in too long they'll end up hitting the stack there so just make sure you get the right size screws so once you put your frame on put your motors on make sure you get them the right way around you've got these are obviously handed motors so make sure they're handed the right way and you've got them on once you've done that I soldered my XT60 cable into the stack and I brought it in the bottom so there's less chance of it getting pulled if there's a battery fall out one thing I should have mentioned first is make sure you put your heat shrink on before you do anything else, before you even start building the frame. Heat shrink over the forearms because it's the only time you can get this heat shrink on. So once you've got your frame built and you've got this on, put your stack on and push your motors through your heat shrink. I've obviously heated this up now. Through your heat shrink and bolt your motors on. They go on with three. I think these are 12 mils three screws on each one, make sure you get them nice and tight, tighten them up across from each other, don't put one in them, tighten it all the way. Same with your frame when you're building it, make sure you put them in and don't tighten any up first, get all the screws in then tighten it up. Bring your wires, take the, the top off this stack that'll come on there and then bring your wires round at the inside and then you solder, yeah, solder them on to these pins here. So, three to that one, three to that one, three to that one, three to that one. Doesn't matter which way around you put them, if you get them wrong, because on BL Hell A later on, we'll set it up and we can reverse the motors. The only other thing I've done is attached the ESC to the flight controller, which is this cable here. So now I'm going to go away and build the rest of, the, rest of it up. Okay, so we've got it all together now. So as you can see, we've moved desks in the meantime as well. I filmed this over a, a period of time, as you're probably going to be able to tell. So, when you last saw it, I had the frame on, the stack was in, I had it all wired up. All I've done since is plug in the XM Plus, which is inside here, just sticks on the top of the stack. I've plugged in the camera, the VTX, and bolted these on here. So these hold on with, screw in each side, one there, one there, one there. These sides go on. Your best bet when you're putting this together is don't put these braces on, do this last and you can get some room to push things in. So, as I said, I'd do it stock. So the only thing that's not stock on this now is the props because the props that came with it are disgusting. They're horrible. It was just not flying. It wouldn't even hover properly with the props that were on it. And I tried a few different ones. It got better when I tried different props, but I don't know what... There's props of Sky Star, apparently, but they just seem horrible. So these has got... Change the props on, flies much, much better. The weather the renders today, but what I'm going to do is I'll try and just hover this in the garden just to show you it hovering and a little bit of how it feels in the air. But I'm not going to be able to fly it outside. I'll get a proper flight video up at some point. So my overall impressions on it, it's actually less than when I bought it now. I think it picks up for around 70 quid or just, just shy of 70 pound now without a deal on. So yeah, it's worth the money. The camera's not great. But it's passable, the props, you might, you'll probably need to buy some new props, unless you've got different props for yours than I got with mine. I can fly this on 3S or 4S, I normally fly it on a 4S battery, but I'm going to just hover it outside on a 3S. The TX and VX seem decent, the only thing I had to do with mine, mine would not bolt down, this was too long, so it would never tighten up on the shaft, so I just ground away the end of here, just so you can see that. That's the only thing I've had to do differently, I think, from the original build. And I had to reverse these two motors. Now you can reverse these motors on BL Heli or just leave a bit more slack here and do that way. If you've never used BL Heli before, it's extremely easy to use. What I do recommend is I haven't shown you a video on how to build this. I've just shown you various stages. Andy RC has a 10 minute build video for this. If you watch it, slow it down because he's quick. If you watch it and you want to build one, just slow his video down and build it that way. His video is absolutely fantastic. He's great, he's Andy. 
I watch all his videos. So if you watch his video, he'll show you how to build this. This is just the way I put it together, and I used his build virtually. So all I wanted to do was get you a video and just show you this thing and see if I do recommend it. And yeah, if you're getting into this and you want to have a go at building, this thing's amazing value. It's always good to build as well. If you want to have a go at building, this is the thing to do it on. The pids out of the out of the factory pids are absolutely fine for this. It flies fine and is enhanced is by changing these pids. But if you want to get into it and you want to have a go at building one, this is how to start. Watch his videos, build this, set it up on Beta Fly. It'll give you a practice on BL Heli if you need to reverse your motors. It, it's going to be fantastic for you. I highly recommend this. They also do a 79 now and a 109. The 79 looks really cute, it's just a smaller version. And the 109 is the same size, but they've put this inside now and it's got a far better camera. So if you're probably going for one, maybe spend a little bit extra and get the 109. I think it's coming in about £84 and just checked a bit ago. So it's up to you what you get. I'm more than happy with this one. I'm going to change that camera out probably for. A run cam split mini, I'll have out split mini in up on the top here, or I'll have an ultra about, but yeah, good for the money. So I'll just show you hovering outside, and thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a quick hover test. As you can see, it's paired up to the Tyrannis QX7. I've got throttle on here, uh, cut on here, and then I've got my modes on this switch here. So let's just take off. So this is the 3S that's in here at the minute, so you get the idea. Very well set up, the pin seam and fine on it. I'm not going to thrash it around in my garden, but you're going to get the general idea of how it flies. that is hands off so there's no drift or oscillations that I can tell when it's in 